Hello everybody. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create drop-down charts in Excel. Drop-down charts are advanced type of charts in MS Excel. You combine the functionality of normal default chart in Excel, such as colon or line chart, and you combine with a drop-down, which is created by the data validation function in Excel. You can switch between the charts using drop-down. It can really save your time and space. Okay. This drop down is a list in which you can control input in Excel to ensure that they don't make a mistake when entering in data. It can also serve as a helpful way to make your chart more dynamic. We have this data set. This is a data set. We have five products you can see furniture, apparel, electronics, insurance, and grocery. And these are the value. We are getting values against this product for the 12 months okay sell so we are going to create charts drop down charts for this okay so suppose we want to see this data in the form of columns let us see we have selected the data then insert insert column okay. so you see these are the legends and uh, it looks that the, the column charts is very much messy therefore we are not getting a lot of clarity suppose we want to see this into as line charts, you can see the similar is the things. It is very much messy. So what we can create here, what we can do, we will create a drop down. We will create a drop down of these products. And we will extract values by using the drop down of different months. And we can also create chart for this. Okay. Let us create. So, uh, uh, we have data here. You can see there is a data validation here. Okay, you can see data validation. Sometimes you you may not be finding in Excel, uh, but you can notice this symbol. Okay, here I can click. This is data validation process. So what is what are the criteria that we are finding? So you can see you can explore there. This can be a whole number, decimal number, list, date, time, length of text and customs. However, we are going to create a list. Okay. So what is your source? What is your source? We are going to get the source from here. So these are the source. Sorry. These are the source means we are going to create drop down for these items only. So you can see. So we have got a drop down here. Okay. Let us check all these things are appearing here. All these products are appearing here. Okay. You can see all these are appearing. Okay. Let us uh, make it colorful. So, okay. We can change also this one like blue. Let us make it blue. And this font also we can make. We can change it to, let's see. This is, we have done it. Okay. So, border we can give, okay. We can highlight it to, let's say, this one, okay. So, now we have created drop down, okay. So, what we'll do, we'll extract values here equal to, we'll equal to product. Okay, this is called product. Then we can also drag here. We are getting here month. You see how I did it. So it is I have written equal to and A1. What is A1? A1 is product. Then I dragged it. So now I have got the uh, the first row copied. So what I will do? I will also create a, the similar kind of you can see I will copy it here. Okay. I have got it. Okay. If I'm changing this one here to furniture, it is also changing. You can see. So what I will do, I will here extract values for this insurance product. Okay. How can we do it? Okay. So here what I will do, I can use this index match formula. Okay. Earlier we have a session on this. 
So index, these two aspects we must understand and uh, this index helps you select your entire data, entire data range. Then you have your own row number and column numbers. In row and column numbers, you will use your match formula. Okay, let us see it. So what we will do, we will first equal to, then we have index. For index, we are going to select the array. What is the array? Total data. Okay, We can select the total data, then comma, then we have the row number. For row number and column number, we can uh, use the match formula. Match formula we can use. This is match. Okay. So match for first row. What is the row? We can take this or this. This is the row we are going to see. Okay. Comma. Then where this row is. Okay. We can find this insurance in the first column. You see, we have the insurance here. Then we can select the lookup array. Okay. Then comma. Then exact match. We are looking for exact insurance. Understood? Then bracket close. Then comma. We can also use another match formula. Match formula for what? For the column. That means in column, what we are looking for? We are looking for the month's value. Okay, months. So this is the month. Okay. Where this month is? This month is in the first row. Okay. Then comma, we want the January exact match. Okay. Then bracket close. We, ha we are using two match formula here. Let us create another one. So now we are getting this. Okay. We are getting this value. You can see this value insurance is 58,261. Suppose I will change here. I will change here to furnitures. You can see it is also changing. Okay. Suppose I will like to see it for grocery. It is also changing. You can see. But how can we get these values? Suppose I will drag it. You see. Suppose I will drag it. Will it copy? it too will not copy okay there is reason for it because we are looking for the value february here okay for grocery product but we have not fixed all these some of the elements here except this month we need to fix rest of the cell or data range okay so therefore in order to copy this we need to fix our formula like except the month we have to fix this you can see so we have got this array. So this array is fixed. So we can fix it by putting a dollar sign here, dollar sign. Then here also we can put another dollar sign. Okay. Then this is the row. This row means grocery has to be fixed. Okay. Because this row has to be fixed. Okay. This will be also fixed. Then row range because when we write here we select grocery here the row has to be fixed therefore these two values has to be fixed okay and this is called your january okay this january has to be changed from january to march that february then march april may june therefore we need not fix it and here this is the range that we are talking about. This is the past row. So this need to be fixed because January means we have to get this from past row. So this month can keep on changing like January to February, March, April. This can keep on changing. Therefore, we are not fixing, fixing the month. But this range past row, that means month range, this need to be fixed. Okay. Here there is a dollar sign. We can put here also there is a dollar sign okay then what we need to do we can fix we can put enter okay now we can what we can do we can extract it so we are getting the values here you can see 
ओके वी आर गेटिंग द वैल्यूज हियर सपोज आई विल चेंज इट टेक फॉर एग्जांपल फर्नीचर आई वांट टू सी यू सी इट इज आल्सो चेंजिंग फ्रॉम फर्नीचर दिस द फर्स्ट रो वैल्यूज आर कमिंग ओके इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सिमिलरली इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स आल्सो इट इज कमिंग सो नाउ वी हैव सक्सेसफुली एक्सट्रैक्टेड वैल्यूज हियर फ्रॉम आवर डाटा सेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द चार्ट आउट ऑफ इट व्हाट आई नीड टू डू आई हैव टू सिलेक्ट द डाटा ओके okay so then i can whatever chart that i want to make i can make it so it is a column charts so you can see this is chart we have now created okay we have now created for this let us uh, little minimize so that it will be clearly visible okay we are getting this now for insurance we are getting now i will change it here suppose i want to see for apparel so now apparel by default it is also changing okay because we are using the data for apparel it is also changing you can see okay you can also see similarly suppose you want to change it change this to line chart okay so uh, you can also select this and suppose you want to change it you can change it so line is coming so difference uh, you can see the trend also this is also changing this is how we can create okay Com that is called drop down chart so simple it helps us to uh, shape time and space okay instead of suppose we have to create line charts we can create like five line charts different line charts and suppose so, uh, we can also have this stacked line chart that is also very much confusing basically while making the presentation we can make this this is also very much helpful and excel in advanced excel uh, we have this okay that's for the lessons see you in the next one